Hello everyone, it's Everfrost. I hope you guys are all doing well. And I'm making this video to um, discuss some things about me and TF2. Now, you guys have probably noticed I've been gone for a few weeks. And I haven't been uploading videos and I just want to apologize for that. I know I said I was going to upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And that kind of fell through. It's mostly on me because I shouldn't have set a schedule for myself. Especially with uh, all the things I was trying to balance, but it's also because I just became really frustrated with TF2. Now, I've been trying to make TF2 content for a long time, and we're getting close to a year on the channel. But as I keep making videos, I've noticed how frustrating and how difficult this whole endeavor is. TF2 is not the game it used to be for me, and I'm not making this video to say, hey, I'm quitting TF2, or I'm not saying, hey, TF2 is bad, I'm not going to play anymore. I'm making this video just to tell you guys that it's almost impossible to be a content creator for, for this game. I just wanted to talk to you guys about my frustrations with TF2. Now, the reason why I've been gone so long is also because I started streaming over on Twitch, and I tried to stream TF2, and for the most part, it was working fine. But then eventually I started to see the cracks and things started to become more difficult as I kept going. TF2 is not a Twitch friendly game and it's not a content creator friendly game. And it's just not fun to stream. I feel like I'm going to burn out and I'm not having fun with the game anymore. Like there's so many things I have to do just to be able to stream the game. I have to disable chat. I have to disable voice chat. I have to disable sprays. I have to... Uh, avoid bots, I have to avoid cheaters, and it's just a pain. It's a big pain, and I don't like it. Now, the first thing people are going to say, right, is go to community servers, go to community servers. But I don't want to go to community servers. Community servers are a pain. I don't... Community servers have, the, like, a dip, different atmosphere, right? They have different players, they have their own set of rules, and I could go either to, like, a silly server, or I could go to like an Uncotopia server, and neither of these type of servers is one I want. I want to be able to play casual, I just want to be able to have fun with the game. And TF2 literally does not let me. We're in a state where the game is literally falling apart. There are bots on live official Valve servers that are crashing the game. And it's been two whole weeks since it started and Valve hasn't done anything. The game hasn't received a uh, an update in over four years. There's nothing to talk about. And I'm not the only one who's talking about the, their frustrations in the game. Like, two of the biggest content creators for TF2 that are still active, you know, the Zesty and Big Joey, literally just last week made videos talking about their frustrations with the game. You know, Zesty made a video talking about how Valve is, should be shameful with the absolute state that TF2 is in. And then Big Joey made a video talking about how he can't make content on TF2 as much because there's nothing to talk about. There's no content. And both of these are very valid aspects for why TF2 is just an impossible game to be a content creator. And you guys might be asking, well, why do you want to be a content creator for TF2 so badly? And, you know, I'm not too sure anymore. It used to be that it, when I was younger, I watched a lot of TF2 content creators and it kind of like inspired me to want to become one. I wanted to be somebody. I wanted to have my name in the community. I wanted, you know, to be recognized. Maybe that's a little petty or or maybe you think that's kind of a bad reason to try to be a content creator. But, you know, I wanted to be able to share the, like the, the enjoyment I have from this game and I wanted to share it with other people. But, that was a long time ago, and TF2 is not the game that it used to be. And the sad part is that most of the people that I used to watch growing up playing TF2, they've all left TF2, right? It's all gone, it's in the past, and I, I feel like I kind of have to do the same. But at the same time, I want to keep playing this game. I want to keep having fun, I, I want to keep making videos, I want to keep making friends and sharing my experiences with it. So I'm just in this like awkward spot where I don't know what to do. So, what I'm going to be trying to do going forward, I'm going to try to be mixing the TF2 content with other games, and 
you know, if other game stuff starts to, you know, get more traction, then we might phase out TF2 in the future. Um, but I don't want to just quit the game. It means too much to me. And I'd feel awful knowing that, like, I'd, I'd leave the community that kind of, like, started me for other stuff. But I don't know what to do anymore. The game doesn't want me to play it. There's nothing to make content on. And I'm kind of just at a loss for words. That being said, we've been playing lots of stuff on Twitch. From Minecraft and Terraria. And having a great time there. So, it's not that I'm, I'm constantly just feeling bad. It's just whenever I, I try to do TF2 stuff, it just doesn't work out for me. So, let me know what you guys think and what you guys think I should do going forward. And hopefully I can try to make more videos. I won't promise a schedule this time. But I'll try to put out more videos. At, at least two videos a week. Going forward. And hopefully things get better. Maybe Valve will get off their ass and finally fix the game. I doubt it. But who knows. Until then, you guys stay frosty. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.